Hey y'all, it's Beer Thrift Machine. Today's gonna be a what's so video, so stay tuned. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Julian, also known as the Beer Thrift Machine here on YouTube. I buy stuff and flip it online for a living, and I make YouTube videos about it. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you like that type of content, always remember to get subscribed, comment down below, and like the video. So let's go ahead and get started. I really just cut straight to the chase. We're gonna do 20 what sold for me in the last couple of weeks. I'm a little bit behind my what sold, so this is probably gonna be probably last week's what sold. So let's go ahead and get started. There's gonna be some golf clubs, shoes, and some clothing, all types of stuff. So the first one's gonna be a John Daly Sandwich Golf Club. This is a 56 degree. Like I said, John Daly isn't like the best clubs. They don't go for a ton of money, but they always sell for me. And this sold for $11.75 and the buyer did pay shipping on that. Also, when it says the shipping uh, fee, you're seeing what the shipping fee would be like if I sent it to myself. That's on the main screen. Uh, the shipping fee does vary. If this thing went to California, a golf club is going to cost like $14 to ship to California. I did do flat ship rating. Uh, flat ship. I did flat shipping rate for a while on golf clubs. I was doing $10 to $11. Then they boosted up and it was just crazy because I would have to do it for like $13. But the people on the East Coast that buy it in Florida right now, it only takes $9 to ship it. So I've been doing calculated shipping and I haven't really seen a dip in sales in golf clubs yet. Also, I'll try to tell you exactly how much I paid for it and how long it took to sell. This one I paid $3 for and probably took a couple months to sell. This is a TaylorMade Rack HT7 iron. It has a stiff flex right-handed club. Went for $22 and the buyer did pay shipping on that. And like I said, that is a seven iron from TaylorMade. These Hugo Boss orange uh, jeans, these are orange labels. So when you look inside, there's an orange label. I think these are more valuable than the regular ones. I put these up for sale and they sold within six hours. I bought them for $6. They sold for $24.99 and that went in a uh, padded flat rate. This Pen Pier number 309 conventional. This was in pretty good condition and did work properly and went for $26. The buyer did pay shipping. This is from that lot that I lost money on. So right now I'm just regaining my money back and that only took about two weeks to sell. This Mizuno JPX Fly High 5 hybrid head cover only did go for $12 and uh, free shipping. It I do free shipping on head covers just because to be competitive and on eBay, you have to do that. A lot of them are free shipping. So it only takes like $4 or $3 to ship. I have nothing into that. That's in that huge golf club lot. But if you see head covers, I'm telling you, there's a lot of money to be made in head covers on um, on golf clubs. These Dan D. Mr. Claw Snowflakes 2000, they're now vintage now, right? Did go for $20 and the buyer did pay shipping on that. I'm just happy to see these go. I still have a ton left. I'm in the profit, been in the profit on that auction, but I still have a ton more bears and I have decorated my house also with these bears and I still have a lot more to go. This is a Thomas Golf AT190. This is a 19 degree wood or 42 degree wood i don't know this is a weird looking club had like a flat head on it i didn't really know how much it was worth so i put it up for like 15 dollars and did go for 22 dollars and 30 cents the buyer did pay shipping on this i got it out of that big golf club lot so this is all profit but some of these thomas golfs are online for like two to three hundred dollars so maybe that's a brand to take a look out for i'm looking for them now just to comp them out when i'm in the store this is a large Easter egg thing made in Germany. Uh, I picked it up for a quarter at a garage sale and sold for $6 and the buyer did pay shipping. And it was pretty big. I mean, it was like that big and had like a hand decorated thing on it. Took probably six months to sell. Um, I don't know. I picked up a lot of weird stuff when I was just, just, just starting out, but I made like five bucks on it. So not too bad there. This is a Warrior Custom Wedge, 60 degree uh, with a graphite shaft. I always pick these up. They always sell. They don't sell for a ton of money, but you're always going to make like, you know, eight to fifteen dollars on them this one sold for ten dollars the buyer did pay shipping and i got it uh for three dollars at a goodwill this is a marvel spider-man skateboard special edition edition it is a it says 1990 uh of 2000 so they were a numbered edition i looked everywhere for this couldn't really find so many soul comps i did find i think a mr uh our captain america a mr america a captain america and uh, that one sold for like 30 bucks so i was like eh, spider-man might go for a little bit more i put it up for i think 65 or 55 dollars got an offer for 44 plus shipping and i took it i only had three dollars in that at the goodwill probably about a couple months ago this is a 
Westinghouse remote. I love remotes. I just haven't found a whole bunch of them lately. Probably picked this up for a dollar and it went for $19 and the buyer did pay shipping. I was seeing if I was going to get this one back because I had already shipped it out and I just actually, when I was taking uh, screenshots to put this little video together, I noticed it says white. Obviously the picture is a black controller. So hopefully it's been delivered and I'm just waiting to hear back if they uh, want to refund because it's the wrong color. Who knows? A tailor-made bubble shaft burner attack. This is like a rescue club or something. It kind of have like a real small head on it, but it has that bubble shaft. Like I always say, they are older, but they always do sell. And this one sold for $19. And the buyer, of course, paid shipping on this. Got it for $3 at a Goodwill. It only took a couple months to sell. This Mizuno Tezoid Fly High 18 degree. This is a driving iron. Like I said, always look for driving irons. This did need a, uh, a grip on it, and it, but it still sold for $20 and the buyer did pay shipping. And that one came out of that big golf club lot, so that's all profit. This right here also came out of the big golf club lot. This is gonna be a US KG, which is US Kids golf tour series this is uh only had v10 and when you're comping stuff out again i always say type down everything that's on these golf heads because all those make a difference there's a big difference between a v5 and a v10 when it comes to golf clubs on these us kids this one went for 24 dollars, and the buyer did pay shipping and it only took a week to sell i might have underpriced that but that's really not a bad sales right there for you know that was came out of the golf club lot so all profit this is a lot of three golf shafts. Now I've had these for a really long time, probably going on eight or nine months. And they did go for $20, the buyer did pay shipping. This came out of a huge golf lot when I first started. I really didn't know what I was doing. If I went, could go back, I would have spent triple the amount of money I actually spent at that uh, golf auction. I just didn't know at that point how valuable this stuff was. And I'm still making money on this, pure profit. They went for $20 and the buyer did pay shipping. Another Mizuno, like I said, Mizuno is always a good brand to comp out. Make sure you do your homework first before you buy it, but always a good brand at least to type into eBay. So this is a Mizuno T-Zoid MX-11. This is a pitching wedge, went for $22 and the buyer did pay shipping on that. Probably got that for $3 at a Goodwill. And again, Mizuno, good brand to always comp out. Harley Davidson 100% wool hat. This was a size medium crushable water repellent. I did get a couple questions because I did put this on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me at the Bearded Thrift Machine. And they asked how I ship my hats. This one was crushable, so it didn't matter. I just shoved it in a box, good to go. But like for big cowboy hats, I've got burned multiple times. So if you do have those, I would always pack those up first and then do the dimensions because they do like hinder on that large... Um, oversized boxes so and i use uh, styrofoam like hard styrofoam to make sure the box is nice and firm so it doesn't get crushed and i picked this up for two dollars at a goodwill and went for 25 dollars, and the buyer did pay shipping on that so that was a good sale this is a top flight xl stainless wedge with a senior flex the senior flexes i've noticed do go a little bit faster and sell like very quick online so when you see an a flex or senior flex go ahead and comp that out when you're in the store or wherever you are because they do seem to sell very quick this is a top flight club, which isn't really at all like a high end. I think this is actually an older club, but it still went for $15.99. The buyer did pay shipping and it only took probably about a couple weeks to sell because that is also out of the big golf club lot. I've had these for a really long time. These are some vintage Husky 3 8 and a quarter drive. It's just basically a socket set and it has 14 pieces. It did go free shipping, which all my tools like this go in a padded flat rate for $7.91 now, but I'm in the profit here. I know they're vintage. They're made in the United States. Took a really long time to sell, but don't ever overlook sockets. I'm telling you, there's a lot of money to be made in sockets, hand tools, hammers, all that stuff. People love them on eBay. This Taylor made rack LT three iron ladies flex to go for $18. The buyer did pay shipping. Again, that came out of the big golf club lot. I know that because I start doing my golf clubs differently and taking them back on a, or taking the pictures on a wood background. So I know which ones are coming out of that lot. So that one's pure profit. So it only took a couple uh, weeks to sell. So really good sale there. That right there has been 20 whiffs sold for me probably in the last week. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you can go out there and find some of these items, flip them online for yourself and make some money. Always uh, remember though, comp this stuff out when you're doing golf clubs, make sure you type everything in that's on the golf club uh, head because a lot of that stuff does make a huge difference. And also the flex of the shaft. If you look at it, you know, it should have different numbers on it or like an S or senior or ladies. Make sure you type that in also onto eBay to comp that out because all that makes a huge difference. So I appreciate y'all watching. I thank you and you know I'll always catch you on the next one.